derivative notation. What is the derivative of y equals f of x? Sounds like a simple question. Turns out, it has lots of answers. Here are some of them. y prime, y prime x, dy over dx, etc. All of these expressions stand for the same thing. They're simply different ways of writing out the derivative of y equals f of x. This is not the whole story either, because whenever you see something in this form, y equals f of x, you should think of the letters y and f as being interchangeable. So wherever you see the letter y in any of these expressions here, you can change that into an f. And there you go. I'm not going to try to explain or justify all of these expressions. I'm just going to tell you that if you're taking a calculus class, you need to be familiar with most of these, maybe all of these. A related question is, what is the derivative of y equals f of x at some particular coordinate, like x equals 3? This simply means you have two things to do. First, you're going to find the derivative, and then you're going to substitute x equal to 3. Here are some expressions for that. y prime 3, y prime x equals 3, and then this one right here, dy over dx, x equals 3. They all mean the same thing. People especially have trouble with this notation right here because they see the 3 and the prime, and they think that because the 3 is in parentheses here that they need to do that first. That is, they think that when they're given a function, they should substitute x equals 3 at the beginning and then take the derivative, but that's backwards. You're supposed to take the derivative first and then set x equal to 3. This notation over here is a, a little bit better in that regard. It's, it's a little more clear that first you do this, then you do this. Now, as before, y equals f of x. So wherever you see the y, you can change it into an f. And there you go. Another question is, what is the second derivative of y equals f of x? The second derivative is simply what you get when you take the derivative of the derivative. Take the derivative twice. Here are some expressions for it y double prime, y double prime x, and then all of this stuff. You probably won't see either of these two very often, but I included those just to show you where it is that this comes from. You definitely will see this, d squared y over dx squared. Just as before, y equals f, so there you have it. Here's an interesting change of pace. What is the derivative of r equals q of c? Now, this doesn't look familiar, but it's in exactly the same format as what we were looking at back here. So when you look at this, you should just think of the r as being like the y, and the q being like the f, and the c being like the x. And whatever expression you have involving r or q or c is going to mimic what we were looking at right here. After all, there's nothing sacred about the letters x, y, and f. We can use any letters we want when we are doing these derivatives. You can use uppercase or lowercase letters, Greek letters, letters from other alphabets, anything you want. So r is like y, and c is like x. So there's our first set of derivatives. Everywhere you see an r, that's where we saw a y the first time around. Everywhere you see a c, that's where we had an x the first time around. Similarly, r and q will be interchangeable. So there's your other set of expressions right there. If you see something like this in a problem, and they ask you about the derivative, any of these expressions is fair game, and you just need to learn to recognize them.